everybody. Welcome back. Happy Friday. I'm Katie and this is Katie's Critter Corner. And today I decided to leave out my fall decor because fall is getting closer. At the end of this month, we will be there. Um, and I also do not have the animal that we are going to be talking about today. It is on my list that I would love to have one someday, but not quite yet. So I'm gonna give you some characteristics continuing on with our series. Last week we covered one of the most popular dog breeds. So today I wanna to talk about one of the most popular cat breeds out there. They are trainable, they're intelligent, they're super social, vocal, and large. Can you guess it? Today we're gonna to be talking about Maine Coon cats. These guys are show stoppers. If you want a cat that is super impressive just on their size alone, this is going to be the cat breed for you. I know quite a few people that have them. They absolutely love them. Of course, if I say cat, my very own not Maine Coon comes to my beck and call. You're very special and I wouldn't trade you, but I would love to have a Maine Coon someday. Anytime one comes into the clinic, we all gather around because their size is massive. Males can range between 18 to 22 pounds safely. We will be discussing their weight a little later on in the video. And females can be around 12 pounds and upwards. I say safely because one of the biggest things and misconceptions with Maine Coons is just because they are a large bodied cat, they're a very long cat breed, more square um, than our little domestic short hairs here. Um, the mi big misconception is because they're a larger cat that they should be very heavy. They have the tendency to want to eat a lot and they're not super busy. They're more of a laid back cat uh, where they can pick up weight and that is not good as you know for us, for our dogs, and especially for our cats. When you have a very overweight or obese cat, that has its own issues. So I will tell you, if you plan on getting a Maine Coon, be very mindful of what they eat and how much they eat because they have a tendency to get a little too heavy. Number two, we're gonna talk about the origin, which Let's be honest, nobody really knows where these guys came from. When I was kind of looking into doing a little bit of research, because when you do these types of things, you don't ever really stop and think about, hey, where does that come from? And there really isn't a definitive answer of where these guys came from. There's a lot of myths and legends out there that say, hey, they came from here, or this is kind of how they ended up. One of the funniest things that I found is that Marie Antoinette was known to originally start breeding them and then they were sent on ships over here to the United States and then, you know, here we are now, they're a whole blown cat breed. Others would be that they ended up on Viking ships and came here. It doesn't matter. However, they ended up on the shores of the United States. They have been one of the most beloved and top cat breeds since then. Dating back to the late 1800s, these guys have been in cat shows, books, all sorts of different things. So they have been quite popular for quite a bit of time now. Number three, they have super long and luxurious coats. Their fur is even known to be waterproof. And if you have ever looked at these guys, they actually have tufts of fur in between their paw pads, at the tips of their ears, and their paw pads specifically are actually known as like a snowshoe because there's so much hair and padding down there. They are also known to really like water, so don't be surprised. I know any cat can like water, like out of my five domestic short hairs, well four I should say because I do have a Persian cat. The one really loves water and I actually at one point got him a vest and would let him swim in my pool. But Maine Coons specifically are known to really enjoy water. So if you're taking a shower or a bath, don't be surprised if your Maine Coon tries to get in there. Number four, I did say earlier that these guys are quite laid back and easy going and they are. Uh, my nail tech, but the fabulous Kaylin, I absolutely adore her. She has two of them. And so Stinky, her number one boy who she had first, He's really laid back, he's easy going, he is just a ham bone. We love him here at the clinic. And when she said that she was getting another one, 
Um, I was like, oh, Kaylin. And so she did, she got Louie. And one, I think it's the name because I have a Louie. My best friend Ashley has a Louie. And Kaylin has a Louie. And they're all kind of just crazy. It's, it's the name. But anyway, she got another one. And he is a kitten. So obviously he's going to be a little bit more crazy. But um, he gives her a run for her money. So although they are known for being a very laid back and gentle, almost dog-like cat, just beware, a kitten is still a kitten and they all may not end up being very laid back, but for the majority of them, they are a very easygoing, loving cat breed. And number five, the last thing that we're gonna cover is their health, I talked about their weight, their lifespans on average. I've seen nine to 13, nine to 15 years, unfortunately working in the veterinary field you see pets pass before their time that you think they should have lasted. It's just one of those unfortunate things. But on average, these guys are between 9 and 13 years. They are a larger cat breed, so similarly to a large breed dog, they may not live as long as I hope Kitty Angel here is 23 and somebody will have to pry him from my hands. Um, but of course, this all comes into how they're taken care of, genetics, all of those good things. And of course, some things are just out of your control, but on average, that is their lifespan. Oh, and one last thing, Maine Coons come in a wide variety of colors, just like our regular cats, these guys kind of come in a multitude of different colors. Uh, Kaylin, who I talked about earlier, has two. She has a like white and tabby colored one, and then her little Louie is like a gray smoke. He is absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed this video today, guys. I really love doing these and covering dogs and cat breeds. Of course, if there is a breed that you would like us to cover, just let me know. I would love to do that. And if you haven't already followed us on social media, we are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Our handle is at Pleasant Valley Vet. And we will see you guys next week. See ya.